welcome back to another video on the channel. Also, happy almost new year. This video should be going up on the last day of 2020. And so that is why this video is the anticipated releases for 2021. Because, you know, it's, it's about to happen, but it hasn't yet. And I'm so excited. So I just need to talk about it. So I'm going to talk about the releases that hopefully will start coming by tomorrow, yes, I'm expecting the first day of the new year to have books. No, not really, I'm not really expecting that. But like, I thought it would be a great way to kind of end this year and start next year kind of at the same time. So I'm just gonna talk about some of the books that I am really excited for coming out next year. So the first book that I'm gonna talk about is the first one on this list to come out. And that is going to be Across the Green Grass Fields by Shauna McGuire. This is the sixth book in the Wayward Children's series. And yes, I know I've only really read the first one, however, I do plan on reading all the rest, all the next four of them, as this is now the sixth one coming out. And it should be coming out actually January 12 of 2021. So I've got just under two weeks to read the next four books in the series in order to get ready for the sixth one. And I am perfectly okay with that. So The Wayward Children is a series where children find doors that lead to different magical worlds and some of the worlds can be kind of like Wonderland from Alice in Wonderland or some of them could be like literally a world of shadows and darkness kind of underworld spooky vibes and some are like very logical and some are quite chaotic um, and it's a whole different range of worlds and so sometimes children will come back from these worlds and they will not fully recover to transitioning back into um, the world that they're from or the real world and so they can be sent to these different schools to kind of help cope with that however right right as our main character gets transferred to a school there is a murder and so she gets tied into investigating the murder of someone at the school and so i really love the concept of this book each book kind of goes along with a different kid in a different world from my understanding so the first one kind of introduced the concept had a murder plot line but to my knowledge, the next couple of books kind of shift from character to character a little bit to kind of learn more about them and what world they went to and how that shaped them. And that just sounds so fascinating, like a creative gold mine. Like I'm so excited to read the creativity and all the different world buildings, like, oh my word. I am really looking forward to that. And that should be the first one that I am excited for this year. The next one that I'm excited for this year is the Tea Dragon Tapestry, and this is the third book by Katie O'Neill in the kind of Tea Dragon Society. Again, I know I've only read the Tea Dragon Society, and like I have the Tea Dragon Society up, up here, um, but I do plan on reading the second one, the Tea Dragons Festival. Um, I actually hope to buy that one, but I have plenty of time as this is supposed to come out June 1st of 2021. So I've still got quite a bit of the year to read the second book, but I'd rather do it sooner than later, even though it's just going to leave me waiting and waiting for the third one to come out. The next book that I'm excited for is Six Crimson Cranes. This is by Elizabeth Lim, and she's the author of the Spin the Dawn duology. And so this is the first book, and I know that there is going to be a second book after this. Uh, this book is supposed to be released July... 6 of 2021 and it's really cool because this book is about a girl who has forbidden magic and she's always been really good at concealing it kind of giving me a little bit of Elsa vibes not gonna lie until her wedding day and she's about to kind of walk down the aisle and then all of a sudden she can't control it anymore and everyone kind of finds out that she has this forbidden magic and so she gets cast out of the kingdom so she goes on this adventure to find her brothers, find her family, and also maybe plot an uprising to overtake the throne and be like, you know what, I got magic, it shouldn't be a problem, let's go. But I loved Elizabeth Lim's other books, The Spin the Dawn and The Unraveled the Dusk, and so I'm really excited to read more of her writing, especially knowing that this already is planning for a second book. I just know it's gonna be good. I have two more books on this list both of which I don't know when they're coming out, which makes me think they might not actually be coming out this year. But they're still anticipated releases anyway. They just might not be coming out next year, but they're anticipated releases. Actually, there are three books. <laughs> I lied. I'm sorry. The first one is A Slight of Shadows by Kat Howard. This is the second book after An Unkindness of Magicians, which if you have followed my channel, you know that I adore that book so much. Like. 
I love the world building. I love the characters. I love the relationships between the characters and how everyone has their own motivation to get things done um, and the alliances that they form, but then, oh, oh, this happens and oh, wait, this is this person? What, who knew? And so I am really looking forward to the second book. And all it says on Goodreads is it's a continuation. It's a continuation of Sydney's story. And I'm like, great, good. I love Sydney's story. What does that mean? What is going to happen? I don't know and I want to know, which is why it's an anticipated read. It's an anticipated release. The next one is called Beasts of Prey and this is by Ayana Gray. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Um, I saw somewhere, I think this was supposed to come out December 31st of 2021, but I couldn't find where I found that in the first place and so I'm probably wrong. But the key words that I took away from the description of this one is magic, jungle, monsters, pansexual, and hashtag black girl magic. To be fair, do you need anything else to entice you to read this book? Because I know I don't. Like, magic jungle with monsters and amazing representation? Yes, please. Sign me up. I would like to read that. So if it could actually come out this year, that would be preferred because uh, I really want to get reading on that one. And then the last anticipated read, I get the feeling, is not going to come out this year because it's not even titled yet. But it is Tomi Adayemi's third book in the Legend of Orisha series. Oh, I read the first one. I read the second one. I am just waiting for this third one to come out. And it's finally like a thing on Goodreads. But as of right now, as of me filming this, there is no information of when it's coming out, what it's even called, what it's going to be about. Like, oh, so I felt like that needed to get on the list because of how much I'm anticipating it, even though it may not come in the next year. Uh, but you know, Hopefully it will, I doubt it, but hopefully some of the other books that I've mentioned who are more farther along, like they have titles and they have summaries, will be released within the year. We just don't know the date yet and it also could be up in the year because we are still deep in the midst of COVID-19. So I know a lot of books have been pushed back um, in their release dates and progress just because of the uh, pandemic, which is totally fair, but also super sad because how else am I supposed to stay sane in this pandemic if I'm not gonna have books? But that's it for this video. It's kind of a shorter. The books I'm really excited for that hopefully are coming out in the next year or soon after. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Comment down below if any of these books sound interesting to you or if you know of any other books that you are excited to come out in the next year or slightly longer. Um, subscribe. I will be uploading videos every Thursday morning and so hit the bell in order to get notified every Thursday morning when I upload a new video. Um, so I hope you guys have had a great holiday season, whether or not you actually celebrate any of the holidays that are happening this season. And I hope you guys have a great new year. I really, I, I really want to hope that 2021 is going to be so much better than 2020, but I also don't want to get my hopes up just in case. But seriously guys, if you go into it with a positive attitude and you go into it like putting in effort to make it good and happy for you, hopefully it will end up being better than this year was for you. And so I leave you with love and encouragement and the wishes for happy reading.